Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to teach you what is FANUC message shift function. Uh, actually, I'm going to take a one CNC machine. So in that CNC machine, I want to display the alarm messages in different language because uh, one, for example, I'm just taking a Japanese guy. Uh, the machine will be in English, but our operator, the machine operator will be a Japanese guy. So whenever the alarm comes in machine that will be in English, but the operator is a Japanese, he's from Japan. He knows Japanese only, so he cannot understand anything in English. So for that, I'm just going to make whatever alarm comes in our machine that will be that will be displayed in Japanese. So how can we do that? By use of the message function in Fanuc, we can easily achieve that function. Okay, so let me explain how can we do this. This is one of the example. Uh, in in the same machine, I'm writing the messages like uh, like this one and this one. This is this is in English and this is Italian. Okay, so A0.0 is, is all about OP emergency push button and access limit uh, of switch. Okay, A0.1 is about main spindle alarm and 0.2 is for circuit product tray and A30.0 this is in Italian but the same message what we have written in A0.0 the same as written in here also. Uh, this is in Italian so now if anything alarm if anything alarm goes up mean in the machine the alarm will be displayed in Italian or English that we can choose in our settings so that setting is very special I'll show you uh, on the upcoming slides okay this is the example so how can we display different types of language uh, in the CNC machine in FANUC CNC machine okay um, in PMC configure if you go to PMC configure so there you can find setting in that setting we can find the message shift option so using this option we are going to achieve these different types of language displaying on our alarm message okay so this is the window if, if you go to the setting window and setting and if you press message shift the window will be like this in that window we have message shift value and message shift start address what is this all about what is the shift value what is the start address let me explain um, so before knowing that before if you want to use those function uh, uh, message shift uh, uh, you should use this K918 and 919, 916 and 917. So these are the default keep release for the message shift option. If you want to use the message shift, then you should enable this keep release or you should give some values to operate uh, to enable our. Okay, so K916 and 917 is all about message shift start address. So here you can give the shift start address. What is shift? You can you can ask. Just wait for a little moment. I'll I'll explain to you in the next slides. Okay. So in the uh, in the nine one eight and nine one nine here you can you can mention your shift amount. How much messages will be shift from here to there? Like that you can mention in K nine one and nine one nine. Okay. So I'm going to the next slide. So here is one example. Here is one example message data in any of four languages is set starting at a0.0 in the order of japanese english italian german japanese and so on if you want to more than this you can write it on your own okay the italian message data is displayed so this is the one default if I'm, uh, uh, now we are going to set the parameters like this one message message shift value is 2 and message shift start address is a0.0 so now what is going to happen whenever a0.0 is turning on so that time italian message will be displayed how it is possible because here we are giving 2 in the shift value whenever a0.0 is getting turned on it will shift the two addresses two bits okay one and two the third will be the italian so italian message will be displayed on our display cnc screen display what about the english for the english we have to set one okay as i said 
here we can say the star shift value and start address so here i'm going to say it, a 0.0, .0 is the start address shift value be, shift value will be 1 or 2 or 3 or 0 so here i'm giving 2 mean and here i'm giving a 0.0, .0 mean here i will get the italian messages in my display so like like this i will write the message in my table message table okay first four will be the uh, emergency stop emergency stop emergency stop will be in italian emergency stop will be in german and loop level low alarm loop level low alarm in japanese english and italian and german so both these four messages are same but in different language if you want to display the german then you should give the three in a shift value so whenever a0 a0.0 is getting turned on so that time the three bits are shifted one two three after that we will get the german so german language will be displayed in your cnc display so this is how message shift function working so like this you can develop your message table you can give the shift value and shift start address so you can use multiple languages to display in your alarm screen so everyone can understand uh, this is one of the example this is this is example one uh, here i forgot to mention this one manipulate a0.0 0 0.4 1.0 and 1.4 with the ladder what is this all about a0.0 a0.4 a1.0 a1.4 so this is the starting a0.0 0 1 2 3 so 4 is starting again Japanese here and 1.0 is again we are starting Japanese 3 in 1.4 again we are starting Japanese 4 Japanese 4 English 4 Italian 4 and German 4 so like this you can achieve your measure shifting so I'm going to the next example see here here uh, as common alarm messages, English message data is displayed with A0.0 through A9.7. So A0.0 up to A9.7 will be the English, uh, will be English language. So that is default. We are not going to influence that one. We are not going to change that one from A0.0 to A9.7. So here I am going to shift the um, messages from A10.0. So A10.0, I have Japanese one, English one, Italian one, German one. So here I'm giving A10.0. So whenever A10.0 is getting turned on, that time uh, our our value will be shifted. That is according to our need. Uh, maybe Japanese for zero and one for English, two for Italian, three for German. So here they, we have mentioned a three. So three mean uh, whenever A10.0 is getting turned on, uh, three bits are skipped by the system one two three so three will after the th third bit the german will be displayed so here we have the german so german will be displayed on the screen when a 10.4 is turned on german 2 is displayed okay so whenever we turn on the a 10.4 that time german 2 will be displayed if you go to the ladder if you search for a 10.1 a 10.2 a 10.3 that there is no no coil will be there because a 10.0 is the real coil real coil that is mentioned on ladder whenever a 10.0 is getting turned on we are just shifting the messages okay using the shift function for this four four coils a 10.0 10.1 10.2 10.3 we are occupied already we are not using it in ladder but we are using for the message, message shift function so you don't confuse with this you don't mess with this if you find if you go if you go to later and if you find for a 10.2 then you will get no coils on that because we are using a 10.0 only so a 10.0 and a 10.1 10.2 10.3 are the same okay are the same same me a 10.0 is getting turned on so using this i'm just shifting my messages so uh, here I'm, I'm displaying the four different languages so that's why i'm using the shift function so like this you will search in your ladder uh, 8.4 will be able to find but what about this one you cannot able to find because we are shifting the messages see here 8.0 10.4 11.0 11.4 so these are all the coils used by the ladder and these are all the coils used by message shift function 
So like this, you can shift the whatever language you want. So this is all about the message shift, message shift function is used by the Fanuk. Thanks for watching. We will see in the next video.